It has been an opportunity to strengthen the relationship, the long-standing historic relationship among both dioceses and both cathedrals. And we have, um, we have hosted them in a manner in which they have experienced the broad cultural diversity of the cathedral congregation. From um, experiencing the 10 o'clock service um, in English and fellowship hour with our Anglo community, to playing dominoes and dancing merengue with our Latino community yesterday night. It has been an opportunity to show them the breadth and the scope of our um, community and our work in God's mission. And it has been um, a blessing to share with them on a one-on-one -on -one level. My name is Samsley Nemo. Um, I'm the Dean of Aberdeen and Orkney, the diocese. And um, it's great to be back in America again after a long period. In fact, no, wait a minute, this is my fourth visit to America. The first time was with the English-speaking Union when I was about 19, 20 years of age. And I was working in a summer camp in New York State. Uh, and then more recently, it's been visits to St. James, New London, because my own parish of St. Margaret's Aberdeen is in a partnership with St. James in New London. So it's, it's great to be back here. And it's great to experience the warm American hospitality. You're very good at it. And uh, I know that uh, Isaac the Provost and myself have really appreciated your warmness and your kindness while we've been here. How does it feel to be part of this historic connection between our two churches? Uh, well, as uh, Bishop Ian said the other night, um, we present a reincarnation of that historic connection between uh, Aberdeen and, and Connecticut and uh, since I wrote a, a part of my thesis was on this very subject so uh, it's a great joy to be here and also to be made uh, an honorary canon of this uh, cathedral church. What would you like the people of Connecticut to know about the Scottish Episcopal Church? What would I like them to know? Uh, well I think that there are some things that people are not particularly aware about uh, I think most of them know that the bishop, uh, or the, the apostolic succession came from Scotland. They're not too aware about the liturgy. Uh, and that is perhaps the greatest gift that uh, Scotland gave to America. And I'm absolutely delighted this week to see that, or to learn rather, that it's now been translated into Spanish and that um, the liturgy of the Episcopal Church is right down through the Americas. My name is Isaac Poobonen. And, and you are positioned uh, over in the Church of Scotland uh, Church. I am the Provost of, and Rector of St. Andrew's Cathedral in Aberdeen, which is of the Scottish Church. Some sense about the, being part of the historic connection between the two dioceses. Well, um, it is well known and well rehearsed fact that uh, Samuel Seabury, when he, when he was seeking um, for um, the consecration as a bishop who was duly elected by uh, the clergy and the people of this diocese um, in 1783 I think um, that he came to um, England for to be consecrated as a, uh, as a bishop to maintain the continuity of uh, the apostolic succession at one level however because of uh, the political um, uh, reasons he couldn't be consecrated in England, the Church of England, so um, he was um, invited or welcomed by the Scottish Episcopal Church to come up where the Scottish Episcopal Church at that time, and as always, free, independent and forward-thinking. They were pioneers in every sense of the term, and so Samuel Seabury finally found the right place <laughs> and he arrived um, in Scotland. But the curious thing is, the power base was between Glasgow and Edinburgh, which is the south. Why of all places to Aberdeen? Well, I can give you a long uh, history of why Aberdeen is a pioneering um, place, but it so happened those who were able to think in advance and look to the kingdom of God, not in a parochial sense or in the local sense, but in a global sense, because they've been abroad and because of their own personal journey, as it were, as people who are persecuted. They know what it is to mean to be living in the margins 
and working in the margins. And so they welcomed Sam, and Sam came up and he was consecrated in 1784 as the first bishop of um, the Episcopal Church in the USA. It's a privilege, and the pioneering instinct of Aberdeen hasn't stopped yet. And it's good to be here to share um, parts of it in this place for the local newspaper reported that uh, Megalina is the first um, Latino uh, priest to be made the dean of any cathedral in the US. And that's a pioneering um, journey. It's good to be part of that.